Welcome to science class. I'm Tom McFadden. You're about to see one of my favorite science history rap battles about a question that's been on all of our minds. What is going on with Pluto? As usual, write your questions in the comments below. If you stick around to the credits, I'll be back to give you some more information about how to get involved. Enjoy. Pandemonium here at Kip Hartwood Academy, where the fifth graders are having a great debate. Is Pluto a planet or isn't it? You're a Pluto fan? Well, I'm sorry, y'all. Since the 30s, Pluto's been an oddball. Check it over doubt. Way elliptical, kinda tilted to when trying to be critical. Until Neptune is gonna get crossed soon. Staring at Sharon, pretty big for a moon. Well, I think it's great. Why you gotta hate? Going around the sun, having fun like the other eight. Pluto's still a planet if I desire. It's big, it's round, and it's not on fire. Planet means whatever we mean when we mean it. If it's big, it's round, we know it when we see it. Huh, what an interesting theory. You ever heard of this planet called Ceres? Thought we had a new planet, 1801 Found more and more stuff, but it was no fun For the kids to memorize all the planets in the sky With the never-ending list piling up sky high Too many planets, people got annoyed So now, we just call them asteroids Ceres, whatever, what's your point meant to be? Pluto is the series of the 21st century I'm not buying it, man, I'm not budging Pluto's a planet, I know it cause I love it Planet not pseudo, you already knew though Dwarf planet now, hate to break it to you Pluto And it's very far away, far away, far away It's tiny, it's icy, and its orbit's kinda cray But it's rule number three that it just doesn't obey A bunch of Kuiper stuff is in its way Dwarf planet, what's up? What new? Scopes, there was a typhoon Of new objects found past Neptune Pluto? was still the big daddy until they found Aries just a little more fatty. So, was that planet number 10? Nope, cause I would just extend the future planet list up higher and higher. Well they're big, they're round, they're not on fire. But think about Ceres, same sort of story. Pluto's one of many new dwarf planets. Sorry, but a dwarf planet's still a planet, right? Nope, cause it's not belt of Kuiper. It's just way too crowded, 70k rocks floating all around it. Man, sometimes I hate science. We got four terrestrials and four gas giants and two belts, asteroid and Kuiper, y'all. So it's not a planet, but it's not an oddball. And the universe is an incredible place. Mean, very evil men just shredding up nature. A planet not pseudo, you already knew though. Dwarf planet now, hate to break it to you, Pluto. And it's very far away, far away, far away. It's tiny, it's icy, and its orbit's kinda cray. But it's rule number three that it just doesn't obey. A bunch of Kuiper stuff is in its way. Dwarf planet, what's up? Planet on Pluto, you already knew the dog planet now, but it's still kind of cool though. It's very far away, far away, far away. Though it's tiny, it's icy, and it's over kind of great. Learning more about the universe every single day. We'll keep on learning till we're all damn great. Dog planet, what's up? Incredible arguments made here today. Dwarf Luckily, planet, the up? new Horizon satellite is on its way to take photos of Pluto for the first Dwarf time. Planet, what's Stay up? tuned until 2015. Signing out. Dwarf Dwarf planet, what's up? Planet, what's up? Thank you for watching. As always, subscribe and click the link in the description below to go to the blog and get more information about Pluto. We got books, videos, all sorts of cool stuff. Also, if you click right here, you can see the students' reactions when I told them that this video would be shown at the New Horizons Pluto Conference. Check it out and enjoy. Thank you.